How's it going everybody? My name is Hardy and this is WWE Shows Abuse 5 and I'm back here again outside in my backyard for this video and it is my Survivor Series 2012 review. I watched Survivor Series the other night, uh, actually a couple of nights ago. Pretty good pay-per-view I would have to say. WWE did a good job for this pay-per-view. Uh, normally they don't do good pay-per-views and I think this year uh, this Survivor Series was pretty good. I thought it would be really bad, but it turned out to be really good. So, uh, the first match of the night, uh, the pre-show match, which we didn't see, obviously. Uh, I didn't see because I was at school, but I, I came... Uh, I watched it after school, because it's time differences and all that. But uh, we had the 3MB, Chunda Mahal, Heath Slater, uh, versus Team Cobro, uh, Santina Morella, and uh, Zack Ryder. It was a pretty good match to start off the pre-show, you know, pre-show does that, pumps up the crowd a bit, and surprisingly, 3MB won this match, and I predicted 3MB to win, which was uh, very surprising, and um, yeah, uh, I felt that um, uh, they had good chemistry in the ring, I think Zack Ryder and Heath uh, Slade have good chemistry in the ring, and yeah, it was good. And then we had um, Team Brodus, Cla this was my actually my... Second favorite or third favorite match of the night, Team Brodus Clay, which had consisted of obviously Brodus Clay, uh, Sin Cara Rey Mysterio, and my favorite tag team, Justin Gabriel and Tyson Kidd. This match was amazing. Versus they versed uh, Team Clay versed Team Tensai, which consisted of uh, Tensai, Primo and Epico, uh, and the Prime Time players. It was an amazing match. I think I uh, went for a good twenty minutes. I think, and. Um, uh, Brodus Clay got eliminated first, and then, uh, Justin Gabriel eliminated Tensai, and then, um, uh, uh, Tynus O'Neill got eliminated by Tyson Kidd, and then Epico got, uh, eliminated by Tyson Kidd again, and then Primo got, uh, eliminated by Rey Mysterio, and then, um, this was amazing, the end was Darren Young, uh, got 619, then, uh, Sin Cara hit the Swanton Bomb, and then Justin Gabriel hit Moonsault, then um, Tyson hit it, the diving elbow, and then diving splash by Rey Mysterio. And it was so funny how I remember this, because I've got all my notes here on my uh, laptop. I've got all my notes down. I was writing my notes down. And my mom's like, what are you writing down? I'm like, oh, it's for my review of uh, Survivor Series 2012. And then we had the Divas Championship match. But before that, uh, we saw Caitlyn uh, getting attacked by that blonde wig uh, lady. That she got attacked at Night of Champions with, and we find out it's Aksana the whole time, which was really weird. I thought it might have been Layla. It would have been cool if it was Layla, but uh, it wasn't. It was uh, uh, Aksana. And the funny thing was, Aksana was wearing a WWE 13 hoodie, which I really like. And yeah, this match also went for a good uh, length of time, even Caitlyn. I would say it went for probably 8 minutes, 8 7 minutes. It was pretty good. Um, both of these ladies have good chemistry in the ring, I have to admit, and, um, Caitlyn didn't come away with the victory, which I thought she might have, but, um, as I predicted, Eve must have won this, and she's my girlfriend, so she has to win, so, yeah, uh, then we had the third match of the night, which was, in t oh, for the Team Clay, uh, Team Tensai match, I would rate it 4 out of 5, with this Divas match, 3 out of 5, and, f uh, the next match we have, Antonio Cesaro vs. R-Truth for the United States Championship. Uh, surprisingly, this also was an okay match. Um, I would say it was like 3 out of 5 star worthy. But uh, yeah, it was a good match. Antonio Cesaro hit the uppercut. And um, I, I realized that he had tape on his uh, fingers and apparently he has a damaged finger of some sort. But uh, hopefully he can, you know, keep going through the injury. Uh, then we have... Uh, Big Show vs. Sheamus for the World Heavyweight Championship. This match was excellent, just like the Hell in a Cell match. Four out of five stars for this one. And, um, yeah, Sheamus won by disqualification as Big Show was, uh, Sheamus was getting ready for the bro kick. But then, um, Sheamus hit the referee. Actually, Big Show actually put the referee in danger and got him bro kicked. So it was pretty intense. And then, um, after the match, Big Show hit the knockout punch. And then Big Show had the world title and he started leaving. And then Sheamus came with the steel chair and started bashing 
sh uh, big show with it. You just hit him in the back. Obviously, you can't hit him in the head because it's illegal in the WWE at the moment. But um, yeah, this match was pretty good. And then after the head, the steel chair shots, big show. Uh, big show's like, no, stop, just stop. And then Sheamus is like, all right. And then he just hits a bro kick. That was awesome. So four out of five stars for this one. And then we had Team Ziggler, which consisted of Dolph Ziggler, Damian Sandow, uh, David Otunga replacing Cody Rhodes, uh, Wade Barrett, and Alberto Del Rio. Uh, this also was a great match. Um, we had, and then uh, Team Ziggler versus Team Foley. So we had, uh, to, in Team Foley, we had uh, The Miz, the Intercontinental Champion Kofi Kingston, uh, Team Hell No, consisting of uh, Kane and Daniel Bryan, and Randy Orton. So this match was pretty good. This went for, I think this was apparently the longest match on the card, according to um, one of my mates at school. She told, he told me that it was one of the longest matches. And Team Ziggler came away with the victory. So four out of five stars with this one, guys. It's a pretty good match. Then we had the main event. CM Punk versus John Cena versus Ryback. I was very looking forward to this match because it would have been... It had, like, heaps of, like, little... Like, little puzzles to put in the puzzle, if you get what I mean. So we had CM Punk. If CM Punk won, he would become WWE Champion for a year. John Cena becoming WWE Champion for 10th time. Or Ryback becoming the first WWE Champion. So it was really good to have that little, little uh, puzzles in there. But uh, CM, CM Punk came away with the victory in an amazing match. 5 out of 5 stars for this one. It was amazing. Uh... And then, uh, this is actually how CM Punk won, was when, um, C uh, jo Ryback hit the shell shock on John Cena, and then we had, this was just amazing, we had Seth Rollins from NXT, my favourite NXT wrestler, with Dean Ambrose, my second favourite wrestler, and Roman Reigns, my third favourite NXT wrestler. It was, <coughs> <coughs> it was awesome, sorry about that. It was just awesome to see all these three guys. I love Seth Rollins, I love Dean Ambrose, and I love Roman Reigns so much. They are awesome wrestlers, if you watch them in NXT. So, yeah, Sam Punk is a champion for one year now, which is really good. And it's a great accomplishment, and I think that they're going to make Sam Punk the longest reigning WWE champion. So, smack the like button for this uh, Survivor Series 2012 review. Comment down below, uh, did you watch the pay-per-view, did you buy it, uh, what match was your favourite. Subscribe up above if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on the next video. See you guys later.